All right, today I'm going to show you how to put the easiest fishing cart together. And that fishing cart is not this one. What I did on this one was really convoluted. It was definitely not easy, so I'm going to get the new one. And here's the new one. Now that old cart cost me about $10 because I found it at a garage sale. This cart I bought brand new at Academy Sports, so this cost me 50 bucks. And I would say that cart probably cost the same because it is an Academy Sports cart just like this one. Now this is going to be incredibly simple. I am taking these one rod holders and I'm going to zip tie them to the corner. I did say this was going to be incredibly easy. You could do this to just about any cart. If you wanted to get one of those $150 or $300 carts, you could do the same thing. And I only have two of these because that's all Academy Sports had when I went there to buy this project. And I'm going to put them on this end. Eventually I'll put two more on this end, but for now I'm going to put two on this end. And always dispose of your trash properly. All right, what I've done here, I've put two zip ties around it. One is underneath the bracket and one is through the bracket. And I did the same thing on the bottom. And then I added a third zip tie, just pulling the two zip ties together to tighten them to get a really good lock on the bottom. It is a little bit loose, but that's to be expected. Nice rolling bank fishing cart. Now let's see if it will still fold with these in here. Yep. Oh. I can fold it up and take it fishing. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you guys with me. I figured I'd fish here because I know there's fish here. Or at least I hope they're still here. The water's gone down a little bit, but there is some fishing activity. There's a little rod holder stick in the middle of the ramp. I have some leftover skipjack, so I'm going to try to use that to catch maybe a channel catfish or two to help break in my new rod holder cart. Now, because I'm going for channel catfish with skipjack, I'm only going to use the gut pocket portion. And it's going to be small pieces of the gut pocket. You could probably catch 10 channel catfish out of this one piece. It just makes it last longer. I usually cut smaller pieces too. But I figured I'd put a bigger piece on because there are bigger channel catfish out there. They will eat this. Perfect channel catfish bait. And here's the other piece. I'm using circle hooks 
So I'm going to leave them locked down in the rod holders so the catfish will hook themselves. Time to see if they're still here. Well, the fish are not behaving, my GoPro is not behaving, and it's starting to get dark. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. Sometimes when you need to catch a fish to show the cart working, it just doesn't happen. That is why they call it fishing and not catching. Now I think I forgot something. I told you guys the price of the cart itself, and it was 50 bucks. Now each rod holder was $6 each. So it was $12 for the two rod holders. The zip ties were about $4 at the hardware store. So this entire setup was about $70. And like I said earlier, you can do this with the more expensive carts as well. Now what I have in this cart right now is a 45 quart Yeti cooler. I'm actually borrowing this. And I'm giving it back to the owner after this fishing trip. And it does fit in the cart perfectly. Funny thing is, I don't have a bank fishing bag at the moment. I actually disassembled my bag and put everything into the boat. So I got to go and create a new bank fishing bag. And I might film making a small bank fishing tackle bag. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should do that. I will order all the items that I'm going to use. Then I will unbox them and put them into the tackle bag basically mirroring what I have on the boat. And I'm gonna go smaller than that bigger Akuma bag that I have this time. Of course, I've been talking to the camera, hoping that maybe I would get a fish while talking to you guys about what I'm gonna do in the future and other stuff, but no bites. I've done that before where I've been talking and I've caught a fish while talking or even closing the video. I guess my luck has run out today However, I am going to take this fishing again in the future to see if I can catch something on this. Maybe I'll go to one of my local ponds. Maybe I'll go to the lake and see if I could get a big catfish on this. See, you know, how it works out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> see, if I talk long enough, I get a fish. My drag is not that oh of course it gets off all right guys i want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video i really really appreciate it i do want to get out of here before it gets too dark i don't have lights and i gotta get the cooler back to its owner but man i can't believe i missed that i probably should have brought my light i'm sure they're coming back in here when it's dark a lot of times in the summertime, the catfish, sometimes they're only bite after dark or right, you know, at the very end of the evening. I really can't wait until fall and winter fishing. This heat is uh, a little bit hot out here. It's probably still 90 degrees. And now I'm going to take off. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys next time.